MLCS Woodworking would like to show you the techniques we use to make this great custom coffee bar. In this part of the video series we will show you how we surfaced and joined the top. These two pieces of maple butcher block countertop that are two inches thick over 50 years old and were used as somebody's workbench for 50 years or so is what inspired this entire project. You can see the dirt, grime, and wax build up before we start. The first step in this project is to resurface the countertop pieces by planing them. The trick here is to keep the countertop pieces at exactly the same thickness. So alternate the boards through the planer. That way they'll end up the exact same size. I also alternate how I feed the boards through face up and face down. This way both sides get evenly surfaced and the boards will remain the same thickness. I end up removing about an eighth of an inch in total lumber thickness to end up with fresh surfaces on both sides. Now that the faces of the board are resurfaced it's time to move over to the joiner to resurface and square the edges. First make sure the joiner fence is square, make all adjustments and then get ready to run your lumber through. Getting these edges square on the joiner is crucial because this will become where you will join the two pieces of wood together and square edges mean a seamless join. To join the two pieces of countertop together we will be using a biscuiting kit as well as a center finding ruler. As you will see using biscuits is a great way to join these two pieces of wood because one done correctly not only will it add a lot of strength to the joint but will keep my boards perfectly flat and level. Using the center finding ruler, I mark the center of my board. This is where I will make my biscuit slot with my 532nd slot cutter to insert my number 20 biscuits. Now it is time to mark your board. Mark your boards for face up. Also mark the edge you'd like to join where you'll be cutting your biscuit slot as well as starting and stopping points for your biscuit slot. Because the countertop will be trimmed down, I do not want to run the slot out of the end. I want to stop a few inches short and give myself room to trim it down. This way there will be no slot showing in the end grain. As long as you are consistent, cutting both boards either face up or face down and the thickness is the same, the biscuits will join a perfectly level and flat surface. As you can see, I line the entire slot with number 20 biscuits. When I glue these in, they will swell and lock into the slot in both boards. That will add a lot of strength to the joint, as well as I've said, keeping the joint flat and level. You can see in this dry fitting how easily it goes together and how perfectly level the boards end up. Just slide them together. The slot should already be level because the thickness of the boards is the same. Look, you can't even see the glue joint already. Now I'm going to check it with my level for flatness just to make sure. And again, perfectly level and flat. Now just add glue and clamp and you are ready to move on to the next part, sizing and shaping the countertop. Remember to visit mlcswoodworking.com for great deals on the products you saw in this video and free shipping on all products all the time as well as more free how-to videos.